Should I enable Intel Virtualization and VTD? I have an Intel Core Duo P8600 and use VirtualBox. VirtualBox some settings about virtualization. My question is should I enable Intel Virtualization and VTD? I found that they were both disabled. Is there any harm in enabling them? I have nothing called VTX in my BIOS, which is what I was looking for. If you use VirtualBox, you should enable both. VTD does direct I.O. And I believe Intel virtualization is the same as VTX. VTD allows direct access to the hardware from a virtual machine. Presently VirtualBox does not support this but it won't harm to turn it on. If you install some variety of Linux and use Zen for virtualization it would support VTD allowing the direct control of various hardware by a virtual machine such as a 3D graphics card or a sound card. VirtualBox will require VTX in order to run 64-bit GuestOS. It will not run these if VTX is not available. Arnand underscore Trex believes are correct. Having run with these settings enabled on more than one system I don't believe they harm, either performance or stability. It is, however, harmful to run two VTX virtual systems at the same time. Running VirtualBox and, for instance, VMware at the same time will blue screen your PC, at least on Windows 7. On Windows 8, I have found that the included Hyper-V outruns all other VMS I have tried. Turn on VTD if you want to use Docker or Kubernetes, Android VirtualBox, no need to turn on. It will save your CPU time if you turn off. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.